tail down dog. Wide fingers, shorten it up so the first one's super comfortable. Next inhale, walk or jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Samastatihi. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, plank. Inhale, up dog. That's a beautiful up dog. Exhale, down dog. Mula Bandha, Uddiyana Bandha, Jalandhara Bandha. Not just so much effort to get this there, but I was just going to slip. Next inhale, walk the jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale up, hands touch. Samastatihi. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, plank. Inhale, up dog. I feel so lucky. Exhale, down dog. Or why? <laughs> <laughs> Chin tucks under. Mula bandha. Steady drishti. Listen to your breath. Next inhale, walk or jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Samastatihi. Inhale, hands up. We'll do five A's. This is number four. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms straight. Nice, Gina. Exhale, plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You know I'm in love with your plank. <laughs> nice. You already knew that, didn't you? No. It's an inhale, walk or jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Samastatihi. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, plank. Inhale, up dog. Hi, Sarah. Exhale, down dog. Next inhale, walk or jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Samastatihi. Inhale, hands up, knees bend. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms straight. 
Exhale, plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot, warrior one. Nice, Mora. Exhale, down to plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot, warrior one. Exhale, down to plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All the bandhas, nice ujjayi. Beautiful. Inhale forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale up, knees bend. Sama stuff to here. Inhale, knees bend. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice, Andy. Right foot first. Left foot second. Strong bandhas, steady drishti. Nice big rib cage for Ujjayi. Next inhale, walk or jump. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Samastati. And one more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, press into your hands. Exhale, plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot. Warrior one, inhale up, exhale down to plank. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Left foot, warrior one, inhale up, exhale down to plank. Nice Bill, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Beautiful. On your next inhale, walk or jump. <clears throat> Exhale, fold. Inhale up, knees bend. Samastatihi. It's an inhale, open the feet, grab the toes. Arms are straight. Exhale, fold in. Parangustasana. Strong Molda Bandha. Tuck the chin. So there's two things I can do. I can press you into your forward bend. Or I can like corset the back muscles. Mm. Yeah, I like that one the most too. It's an exhale, hands move under the feet. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, elbows bend, Pada Hastasana.
Next inhale, arms straight. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come up. Exhale, samastatihi. It's an inhale to open for triangle. Exhale down. Use whatever hand holds you like the most. Strong bandhas, listen to the breath. Next inhale up, <clears throat> exhale side two, nice pop. Mutita Trikanasana. And inhale up and over, left hand toward the right foot, Parivritta Trikanasana. Nice, Sarah. And exhale to look down. Inhale, travel up. Exhale, second side. And exhale, look down. Inhale, travel up. Exhale, samastatihi. It's an inhale to open, extended side angle, Utita Parsvokanasana. Next inhale, up, exhale, side two. Hi, little Aaron. <laughs> nice, Maria. Use an inhale to come up and rotate Parivritta Parsvottanasana. I have a hard time with this one. Everyone has a hard time <laughs> with this one. It's crazy. That's great. I love that. Do you, does it feel good? Great. Use your own breath. It's an inhale up and over. Exhale, Parivritta, Parsvokanasana, side two. Parsvokanasana with a K. Nice, nice, nice. Britain, nice. Mora, nice. Everyone, beautiful. It's your own inhale, up and open. Exhale, samastati. Hands are on the hips. It's an inhale to open <laughs> for prasarita tadasanasana. Hands end up on the floor, A position. Heels are a little bit wider than the toes. 
Fingers are wide. Head is hanging or chin is tucked. Nice, Andy. So inhale, arms straight. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come up, look up. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, arms open. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Prasarita Parottanasana B. You feel that in your leg? Just find the zipper in your hamstring. It's funny how that little bit of pressure can yeah. totally make that line happen. Follow your own breath. It's an inhale up, exhale, look forward. Inhale, arms open, exhale, hands interlace. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold over. Nice, Gina. Nice, Bill. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Use your own inhale. Come on up. Hands move to the hips. Lift the chest. Exhale. Look forward. Hands stay on the hips. Inhaling. Exhale. Take the toes. Inhale. Arms straight. Sway the back. Nice, Kami. Exhale. Fold through. Nice, Kami. Beautiful. Beautiful. Next inhale, arms come straight, sway the back. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come up, lift the chest. Exhale, samastatihi. Very nice. Hands up the back in prayer. Take as many breaths as you need. Then it's an inhale, open. Exhale, down. Nice. Chin tucks under. If your forehead and your chest are against that front leg, you can change from the forehead to the chin. It's an inhale up, push the hands up toward the ceiling on your way through. Exhale, side two. Oh, that's very yoga of you. It is to have remembered to switch your arms. That was great. Both sides, so even. You feel where my hands are? They're in prayer position. Awesome. <laughs> That's exactly what it's going to be. No hurry at all. When you're ready, inhale up. Exhale, samastatihi. Inhale, pick up the right big toe. Utita hasta parangustasana. No, I always take this one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> You're welcome to skip it. No. Very nice. Inhale, head up. Exhale, leg open. Nice, Britain. Nice, Sarah. Use an inhale, bring that foot forward. Exhale, touch. Inhale, head up. Exhale, leg floats. 
Hands traditionally go to the hips. Sometimes I like to put my hands in the air or put my hands behind my head. Next exhale, foot to the floor. Inhale, second side up. Exhale, chin to the chest or head to the leg. Uttita hasta parangustasana. <laughs> I look at this stuff all the time. Adam gave me the Pokemon cards. Those feathers I found throughout the summer. Seashells are being named. It's an inhale, head up. Exhale, leg open. Those flowers over by the router. Um, Ruben painted those. Oh. And then Bill, not Bill on here today, but a different Bill. His wife Emily made that poster. <laughs> Ruth on it. Aww. No. It's an inhale forward, exhale touch, inhale head up, exhale leg floats. And then those pieces of brick. Um, those are from the studio wall. Um. <laughs> yes. And the rocks are from the lake, but they were in the studio. All of this stuff was in the studio, actually. Oh, not the feathers. <laughs> not the big thing. And it's an exhale down. Ardha Baddha Padmottanasana, standing half lotus. Right foot first. Inhale up. Exhale down if you want to. Nice, Kemi. Nice, Kemi. Nice, Bill. Nice, Maria. Beautiful. It's an inhale to come up. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, second leg up. Nice save. Exhale, bind and lower. And D, and D. And D, and D. Listen to the breath. Kame, 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 Kame. And next inhale, come on up. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms straight. Exhale, plank. Vinyasa to Utkatasana. And when you jump forward for Utkatasana, you don't have to have your feet right between your hands. You could jump forward halfway and go into Utkatasana. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Any Drishti you like? and exhale down. Take your vinyasa, Virabhadrasana A. Amelia, I love your plank. <laughs> right foot forward, warrior one. Beautiful. Use your next inhale, up. Exhale, second side. I don't care if your hips point forward. I don't make all well, they don't. <laughs> well, they do. You're very good at that. But I'm just saying, don't worry about it. But I didn't think they were. Oh, they're very. But you, you know what? You can go back and you can look at this video. I will. Because <laughs> it's a really good deal. And then open for warrior two, Virabhadrasana B. Mm. 
And up and over, Virabhadrasana B, second side. And it's an exhale down, plank, up dog, down dog, through jump, vinyasa to dandasana. It's amazing how when I'm not practicing, I'm not huffing and puffing and panting, and I actually have full sentences. Usually I'm grunting and getting sidetracked by my own thoughts. It's an exhale when you take your toes. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Paschimottanasana A. Sarah, 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 Sarah. It's an exhale to switch the hand grab. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Paschimottanasana B. So what I'm trying to do here, Amelia, is not press down, mm -hmm. but actually spread the distance between my two hands so that the back side of the spine gets a little stretch. I don't know if you can feel that. I don't know if it's effective at all. So I had to tell you. It's an exhale, switch the hand grab one more time. Okay. Exhale down, Paschimottanasana C, intense west stretch C. Oh, nice, nice. I like the hands over the toes. I don't usually do that one. Use your own inhale, arch lift the chest, exhale release. Inhale, lift up, exhale, jump back. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, through jump, Purvottanasana. Hips are high, fingers face the feet. You're like, oh, I could stay all day. Nice, Gina. Beautiful. It's an exhale, sit down, inhale, lift up, exhale, jump back. Vinyasa, through jump. Ardha Bada Padma Paschimottanasana, half bound lotus, intense west stretch. Britain, 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 Britain. I like your smile. I like your smile. I like your smile. I like your smile. Let's take both hands down to that extended foot. Yeah. It's an inhale, arch. Exhale, release. Optional vinyasa in between sides. Ardha Bada Padma Paschimottanasana, left foot. I feel like we're magicians. It's your own inhale, arch, lift the chest. Exhale, release. Vinyasa to Trianga Mukha Ekapada Paschimottanasana. Nice, nice, Andy.
Ya. You are more comfortable with that foot flexed. You can flex it. It can be in in uh, primary. It's pointed, and then later on down the road, at some point, way beyond anything I ever got to, it's flexed. But some people are more comfortable with it flexed. And inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, release. Vinyasa or trade sides. Yesterday, I was doing a lot of things, winterizing a couple of things, and running my son around town, and you know, like just doing random everyday things. And I kept thinking to myself, why am I so happy today? I didn't really come upon it, but I mean, there was no answer. It was just a good day. I'm starting to wake up now, Nancy. <laughs> I had only rolled out of bed a while ago too. Anyway, it seems like today is gonna be a really happy day too. It's an inhale, arch, exhale, release. Vinyasa, John or Shrasasana A. Right foot in against the left thigh. All of these things are for um, laying out in the backyard in the summertime. Mm -hmm. um, here's binoculars in case you need to look at something. These are yoga things, and then that is my bag to take to the grocery store. Nice. <laughs> So I have this fantasy that we have a small studio and that it's a Mysore practice. So it's extremely quiet, like <laughs> silent practice. Mm -hmm. And even though that's like what I keep thinking about, go ahead, take your vinyasa. I'm like, I won't be allowed in the room. <laughs> I'll be the person sitting in the hallway telling everyone I got kicked out for talking. <laughs> I mean, of course, we wouldn't really kick anyone out, but I talk a lot. Dhanushasana A, side two. And inhale, arch, lift the chest. Exhale, release. Vinyasa. John or Shasasana B. Sit down onto the right heel. And that knee is out nice and wide. Beautiful. I see that. It's beautiful. The heel okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, Kame. And here I am on camera, assisting a posture where I'm like, you should never assist this. No one ever needs to be assisted in this posture. Uh -oh. I know. It's an <laughs> inhale arch because it's just too easy to put too much pressure on the foot or too much pressure on that knee that's way out there hanging in space. Good. I do like trying to open up this side. It's an inhale arch. Exhale release. Vinyasa Janushasana C. Right foot, ball of the foot on the floor. Make it your own posture. Nice up dog, Mora. Make it any way you like it to be.
Nancy, 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 Nancy. Honey, 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 honey. Go ahead, side two, vinyasa or switch sides. Madu, 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 madu. I think madu means honey in a language that is not English. So there's a few parties, you guys. I think I I don't know when they I don't know when the lottery spins off or whatever, but I really should play the lottery because there's a few parties that I'd like to throw for us. One is I think we should have a caravan. We all get travel trailers and we go travel and follow each other around for a month. Another one is I think we need to have a dog party. Go ahead, take your vinyasa onto Mary Chiasana A, where we all meet at a dog park that, you know how you can rent out like restaurants for private parties? We rent out a dog park, nice Gina, for a private party. And then we all show up with everybody's dogs. And because I won the lottery, I have all kinds of treats and we all get like, Instead of getting t-shirts like you get, you know, at most yoga events, oh, we could leave the dogs in the dog park and park just practice next to it. We could get in the yoga, they could be at the dog park. Marcel would be looking at Sarah the whole time through the fence, <laughs> longingly. <laughs> Mary Chasna A, side one is over. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, release. Um, anyway, instead of having t-shirts, we could have matching little dog tags that maybe we just get dog toys so the dogs can chew them up because really it's for the dogs. I feel like dog tags are clanky. My grandparents, my mom's mom and dad. They had this dog named Gigi that was a poodle and it would jump all the time. It was a little poodle though, so it was okay. And they kept every single dog tag they ever had on her like, on her collar. And she only wore her collar when she went for a walk on a leash. Go ahead, take a vinyasa. And it was so, it was like chimes. It was like wind chimes. It was kind of like, um, a musical instrument. And then Gigi passed away because she was old and they got another poodle and they kept adding <laughs> dog tags onto the same collar. There were like 30 dog tags on this one collar. It was crazy. And guess what they named that dog? You're not gonna believe this, Gigi. Mary Chasna B side one. Okay, and then my, my dad's mom, my one of my other grandmas I had a lot of grant for a while I was the only grandkid one time at Christmas I got like seven baby dolls and I didn't even like baby dolls I was the only grandkid I had a great grandmother two grandmothers on my dad's side one grandmother on my mom's side so that's like four and then I had all these great aunts and no one had grandchildren yet so I got everything. Some of those things I still have, like that piggy bank. Anyway, um, okay, so my dad's mom, you're on Mary Chastain B side too. My dad's mom had a dog named Tippy that I think was like a black and white chihuahua, Tippy. And then Tippy died of old age. She gets another dog. What do you think she names it? Tippy. I was like, come on, you guys. I'm just a kid, but I think you need to have different names for different people. <laughs> Go ahead, inhale, arch. Exhale, release. Vinyasa, Mary Chasana C. Right knee up, left extended. Twisting. So 
So what I would do is I would put this in right here and then pull your elbow forward. Feel how that twists you? And really, is there a reason that you don't bind it? No. Okay. That's good. And inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Vinyasa, Merichasana, C, second side. Maria, 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 Maria. Yeah. And then when you're by yourself, hang on there and pull that elbow forward and it'll really twist you. And then when you're with me, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You should not be with me every Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, whenever. Nice. Beautiful. It's an inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Vinyasa, Merichasana, D. Do you have to feel good? Yeah. Do, do you love D? No. Okay, do C again. And I'll give you the other assist so that you got to feel both of them. That way, and then go back. Mm -hmm. So inhale, look forward, exhale, release. Vinyasa or trade sides, Mary Chiasana D, second side. Nice. Cami, that was a great way to get in. Nice, Sarah. Nice, Laura. It's an inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Vinyasa Navasana. Or handstand, whichever you prefer. Amelia, do you like boat? Nope. Oh, great. Do you like handstand? <laughs> yeah. Great, let's do handstand. Go ahead, anytime you want. You don't even need me for handstand. Nice, Maria. Yeah, whenever you want to. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> So rest a little bit and then pick up with the opposite foot. Oh, do that. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> Not for long. I don't even know how to do that. Hang on. Oh, that was perfect. And then you slow down whenever you want. Nice. Wow, that was nice. That was great. I think, <laughs> I think it's the last one. I think it's over. Cammy's like, I'm finally warm. I'm going to take off this long sleeve. 
Maria's like, I'm gonna sneak in one more handstand, double foot jump. Oh my gosh. Double foot jump. Oh, Ooh. awesome. <laughs> no problem. Might be the sweater. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're ready, Bhuja Pirasana, jump both feet up over the shoulders, cross the feet. You can hang out up top or you can tuck under. Nice. Nice. Mora, 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 mora. Whatever you like to do, five breaths, five breaths, up and out. You don't have to count your breaths, just check on Mula Bandha. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Vinyasa Kormasana. Nice. What happens if you put your feet closer together? Yeah, mine are even closer than that. I'm trying to make a really, like, my feet, I want my feet about right here so that I can get my shoulders under them more easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing. What is it? I feel like Kormasana is supposed to be a tall X rather than a squatty X. Beautiful. Supta Kormasana. You can do it on your back if you prefer. It has a different name then, but it's the same posture. Nice. Nice. Like, oh, I just needed 15 pounds on my skull. <laughs> I always wish that I had 20 pounds in my body. And as I practiced, I could just move it around. So in this posture, I would put it in my head, you know, or maybe between the head and the bum. Mm -hmm. Vinyasa out of Supta Kormasana. Nice, Mora. That has come a long way, like all the way. That's come all the way. <laughs> Vinyasa, full lotus, Darva Pindasana. Nice, nice, Andy. Nice, Sarah. Ta-da. Good, good, Maria. Roll when you're ready. <laughs> If it hurts your spine, don't roll. Walking, 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 flying. Oh no, binding, flying, binding. Very nice. And then lift up at the end if you'd like to, Urdhva Kukatasana, upward facing rooster. The chin is lifted as high as possible. Nice, Bill. Yeah, excellent. And then sit down, pull the hands out, take a vinyasa. Beautiful. Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet touch. Whatever you'd like to do, there's two of these, Baddha Konasana A and B. So just pick two positions or the same position twice. If you wanna go into B, it's an inhale arch, lift the chest, exhale down, whatever your second position is.
lift and inhale, arch. Exhale, release. Mukta Vishta Kanasana. Wide leg seated on the floor. Nice. I can drop in if you want. Rupa Vishta Kanasana B, balancing on your bum. Very, very seldom do I watch a practice virtually. You guys look beautiful. Optional vinyasa or roll over onto the shoulders. Supta Kanasana. Wide leg on the shoulders. Lock the elbows and flex the feet against the hands. It'll lift the backs of the knees a little bit higher. It'll probably lift the hips a little bit higher. When you're ready, roll up, maybe land. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, release. Vinyasa to Supta Parangustasana. Inhale, jump through, exhale, lie down. Inhale, pick up the right big toe, exhale, head toward the leg. I get good assist, right? So helpful. Always had people trying to break my legs into splits, and I'm like, that's not that helpful. Lift me up. It's an inhale, head down. Exhale, leg open. It's an inhale, leg up. Exhale, touch. Inhale, head down, exhale, leg down. Inhale, second leg up, exhale, head to the shin. Very nice. And inhale, head down, exhale, leg open to the side. Right. And inhale, leg up. Exhale, touch. Inhale, head down. Exhale, leg down. Optional chakrasana for any kind of vinyasa, including the invisible kind. Through jump, roll over. Touch the toes behind you, roll up. Ubaya Parangustasana. Arms are straight. Head drops off the back side of the body. Nice, Andy. Nakrasana, nice, Amelia. It's beautiful. And then when you're ready, Chakrasana or regular vinyasa, beautiful, or roll back, switch your handhold, like whatever you want to do there. 
when I got really good at Chakrasana, Tom Birch said all of the vinyasas from that first Chakrasana, what is that in? Uh, I don't know, but whatever, we just did it. Anyway, from there on out, all of the vinyasas can be Chakrasana. Uh, Suptapada Gustasana, I think. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Supta Param Gustasana. Go ahead, tap your head. Yeah. Nice, Mora. It's an inhale, look. Exhale, release. Thank goodness we all share thoughts. <laughs> Thank goodness we share thoughts and emotions and trivia and the physical practice. It uh, Setu Bandhasana. It definitely makes me feel like I'm never alone. I never feel lonely and it's because we practice together. Beautiful. Come up for a second. Put this under you somewhere. It might want to go under your back. It might, like wherever. How is that? It's such a back bend. Forget about primary series. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Two seconds. Say to Bandasana and then full back bends or half or whatever you'd like. Can I see that one? So, how do I do this? When I'm going into Say to Bandasana, sometimes I'll go like this. You know, there's no weight on my head when I do that. Beautiful. As many back bends as you want. <clears throat> Any variations? Do you do dropbacks? I'm out of practice, but I have. Up to you, you're on dropback. And you can always bail out. I would take your feet a little bit wider and let them point out a little bit. Nice. Oh, I'm just going to leave you there. Whenever you're ready to come up, walk toward me and you can come up. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. Want a couple more? Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> That was great. Did you feel how high you were in your back bend? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. You were like the Empire State Building of back bends. All of the back bends. Now watch uh watch this square right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want my reading glasses or can you see? No, I can see. Okay. I cleaned them today with soap and water. Yeah, her feet are really wide. Okay. Yeah. And her shoulders are super open. See how far she has to bring her knees forward to even think about getting up? Yeah. Yeah. And then watch this one. Sarah's the one who taught me how to use a couch. <laughs> it's got to be the right firmness. Oh, I see the back of the couch. That'll work. <laughs> 
that. Well, my couch is super squishy. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't always work. For me, my back bend is okay. Cammie, I love you. I love you too, Kathy. My back is kind of cranky and it's had enough. So I'm going to sign off. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. I hope your back feels better. Thank you. Take Gina, care, everybody. Gina's waving to you and blowing you kisses. <laughs> love you, Gina. Take care. Isn't that cool how Sarah yeah. goes back and gets up? And then closing sequence, as you know it or prefer it to be. And I actually know a couple of assists for closing sequence, even though um, they bend your knees, even though uh, most people don't do closing sequence assists. I don't know. So. No. Yeah. <laughs> because closing sequence was always done, not always, but once the shala got busy, the Tubby Joyce would send everyone upstairs to do closing mm -hmm. sequence. At first, people just went upstairs to do Shavasana. <clears throat> but then he was like, you know, we have to move people along. So then closing sequence was done upstairs. And when closing sequence was done upstairs, you know, no one got assisted in closing sequence. Can you go back and use all these assists on your clients. Are you teaching any yoga? Yeah. Oh, good. Perfect. Then you really can't. I was joking about like your hundred year old. <laughs> right. <clients, you> know. <laughs> okay, so I've been reading out of Beryl's book, her first book. Power yoga lately. I flipped open uh, to page 131. The primary series, seated postures, yoga therapy. It is at this point that the yoga chikitsa or yoga therapy begins to deepen its effects. Although many of you have already begun to markedly notice your re residual stiffness in some of the standing postures, especially in the back of the legs, the tightness developed over years of training can get downright discouraging and discomfortable about now. The very first seated posture, like the first standing posture, tells you in pretty clear language how tight or flexible you may be in the back of the body. The encouraging news is that if you continue to practice with earnest, earnestness and regularity, the body changes. Not only do the hamstrings get longer and more flexible, but your mind seems to become more flexible too. The rigidity and resistance locked in for so long begin to dislodge. A not uncommon occurrence after a few months of practice is for a person to begin crying during practice. No, it is not from the pain. I guess the best way to describe it is in the words of one of the students, Jeannie, a woman in her early 40s who had been coming to class for many years. I had just come out of forward bending and was lying down waiting to begin closing sequence. The music occasionally played at the end of class for relaxation, corpse posture, had started and the heat was coming on again. The radiator started banging and I couldn't tell what was radiator and what was on the music tape. Slowly, it all seemed interconnected. Suddenly, I thought I felt my father, the student's father had died several years before, standing behind me as if he were dancing. I felt happy and relieved and started to cry. I didn't sob or anything, but it was a very deep crying from the very depth of my heart. After years of watching hundreds of people go through very real emotional releases and catharsis, 
as a result of what superficially seems to be a strictly physical practice, I can tell you unquestionably, this practice not only liberates the tightness and restriction of physical injuries and training, but also the constraints developed from years of emotional pain or trauma as well. You cannot work day after day on opening the muscles, cells, joints, and connective tissue without affecting the nervous system and the emotional condition. The emotions have to be stored somewhere. Yes, they are in the mind, but from my observations, they are just as assuredly in the cells, even the DNA. Memory of every nanosecond of your life is in the DNA. There is physical storage on the hard drive somewhere deep in the mind's computer bank. Memory doesn't just float around in the ether somewhere. It has a form and is comprised of bytes linked into kilobytes and megabytes. However, we can't always access our own memory as easily as we can on a computer on our desk. Sometimes it gets stuck or buried or covered over with other information. If it was a painful memory, it seems to become insulated like a physical injury does by scar tissue. These little insulated pockets create blocks, detours, or limitations. To go the distance, we need to blast through and open them up. When the system is realigned and free of a lifetime of blocks, only then can we function at full potential. As you stretch out and lose rigidity, you will notice the unfolding suppleness begins to carry into your day-to-day -day work. As you slowly train the mind to focus on the breath, you will notice an increased ability to concentrate in other aspects of your life. You may see your talent for conflict resolution improving. You may begin to yield where you used to resist, and you may begin to stand firm where you used to consistently acquiesce. So when I say the yoga therap therapy begins in earnest, I don't just mean putting the spine in line. A lot of people fake forward bending by rounding the back and straining the head to the knees. People can try to look flexible. This is not only incorrect yoga, but also dangerous. This chapter will teach you absolutely the only correct way to do forward bending safely and effectively. The downside of doing it correctly, for many of you the first time ever, is that in the beginning you will feel a lot less flexible because you can't cheat. This means dealing with the ego straight on. The ego, of course, wants to demonstrate how good it is at this work. I see it in class all the time, particularly in classes where people can look around and compare themselves with others. It becomes a competition. Oh my God, I'm not the stiffest person in class, am I? Looking flexible and forward bending generally involves hunching the shoulders, rounding the back, collapsing the front of the body, dropping the head, and totally compressing the entire cardiopulmonary space. I actually know of an instance where a very well-known runner and client of our program in New York City was seriously injured doing a stretch and reach test for an exercise physiologist at a local health club. The runner was sitting with his legs outstretched trying to reach his toes and straining to perform well and score high on the test results. In reaching forward, pressing down and collapsing the front of the body, the downward pressure of the shoulders on the rib cage actually popped a piece of connective cartilage off of the rib cage. There are only two points to this story. One is to illustrate that very few of us know what correct form is when we are attempting to stretch. This particular runner who tore cartilage had been in classes for years and could have known better about not rounding the back when forward bending. But often we just don't get it. We can't exactly see ourselves from the back and we may be so used to the way that the rounding feels that it may indeed feel straight to us. We are eager to make progress, especially when scoring is involved. Old habits are very hard to eliminate and change. It takes time and patience. Often we need to learn the hard way to really get the teaching. The second point is to illustrate the power of the ego. 
we have a lot invested in our tightness. It represents for most of us some kind of accomplishment. Now we have come to the point where it is beginning to get in our way, to limit us. Hmm. We have to begin to change our way of thinking. Traditionally in yoga literature, the forward bending postures, especially intense west stretch or Paschimottanasana, the first posture in this chapter, are said not only to quiet the mind and teach surrender, meaning giving up limitations, but to conquer ego and develop the siddhis or yogic powers like clairvoyance, psychic energy and communication and altered states of consciousness. By conquering the ego, we should be clear here that we are talking only about the negative aspects, the notion of the ego, the inner enemy, such as false pride, arrogance, wrong knowledge, conceit, and narrow-mindedness. Indeed, in order to make headway in these forward bending postures, one must learn to let go. If you resist the stretch and hang on to the old pathways, the work will be more painful and less effective. Letting go of the ego means letting go of the rightness. The density of the tightness has clouded the sensitivity of the pores of the skin, of the tissue. The ability of the prana to circulate through the tissue and bring energy to an area is limited. The yogis would say that this density obscures the sensitivity of the aura or the energy body around the physical body as well. As we give up holding on to old patterns, both physical and psychic, the clouds begin to dissipate and clairvoyance or clear seeing, for example, gets stronger. I like to think about becoming more clairvoyant when my hamstring, hamstrings are screeching at me on a Monday morning yoga practice after a weekend of running, hiking, biking, or whatever. It helps soothe the intensity. Anyway, it's a nice thought, and there is no question that after many years of yoga practice, people do become more perceptive. But for now, back to the issue at hand. Tightness that has ceased to become fun or fashionable. We are too tight, and it's getting in our way. I'll stop there. Oh, nice Hanumanasana. Sarah, oh, I might have a text here. Um, oh, hey, you guys. Today is Judy's birthday, and she's in Florida for six months. And I don't remember. Oh, I know how old she is. She is 80 today. So I sent her a birthday text. She said, thank you. And then... Um, <laughs> And then the best researcher I have ever met, Maria, has sent me another, oh, alignment cues, another uh, PDF. Oh, it's by Bernie Clark and Paul Greeley and Morgan Jesk, Jeske and Dan Dania Sheldon. It's called Your Body, Your Yoga. Mm. And Great book. It looks like, yeah, it yeah, looks it's like awesome it book. might be, looks like it might be a PDF. I can't figure it out yet. Uh, anyway, I'll share that out with Sarah. So Sarah, we were trying to figure out, um, look at, there's Sarah's dogs. They will be at the dog party. Uh, Marcel is the multicolored dog and Happy is the <clears throat> singularly colored dog. Um, oh, Sarah, we were trying to figure out the name of Lori's bakery and which town it's in because Kame is heading through that part of Pennsylvania today. Sarah's, I think she's texting me, so we might get that. Hmm. Andy's just now, oh, Lori texted me, right? The second, going with the grain. Oh, we got it. I'll text it to you, Kame. Uh, going with the grain, Harrisville, Pennsylvania. I love you too, she says.
Sarah says, <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm following her on Instagram. Oh, going with the grain. We can follow her on Instagram. Sarah sent it to us. Cool. Does anyone have any comments or questions? I feel really luck lucky to have Amelia here today. What? Amelia's birthday is on Tuesday? Say what? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amelia. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Hey. Nancy, thank you for telling us. She'll kill me. <laughs> she can't. She's at my house. There's no way she can reach you. Her mother and her big mouth. <laughs> wow. Yeah, tell her how old you are, Amelia. Bye. How old five. are you? Bye. Five years old? 40. You're 40? I'll be 40 on Tuesday. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my made it so far. <laughs> it's so far. Oh my gosh. 40s, the 40s are awesome. It's a good uh -huh. day. That's what I've heard. So yeah. That's great. The 40s are awesome. It was so nice to practice and to hear you and Kathy. Just to the, to the chatting back and forth and to know that you were there it was really, really sweet. Yeah. I loved your class the other day, Gina. That was fabulous. Oh, thanks. Thanks yeah. for coming. It was great. Yeah, thanks. thanks for subbing for me. I really appreciate it. You're most yeah, welcome. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Nancy, I haven't gotten the yin class up on Patreon yet, but I am going to do that. Oh, good. Just so Thank you know. Thank you. Yeah, I I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're on the uh, notification. You, I don't know if you're on the notification, but you might be on the notification on Patreon. Yep, I am. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Great, great. Be beautiful practice, Amelia and and Kathy. The the hands on and the cueing was really a a nice teaching tool for me to watch you do that. It was you're beautiful so adjustments. Sweet. Yeah, you're so sweet. Thanks. Yeah, someday we'll all get together and we'll work on adjustments. Half mm. of us will practice, half of us will assist, and then we'll switch out. Oh, that's so good. That's so hey, good. hey, Kathy. Yeah. Oh, I have a question. Um, right. In Supta Padang Gustasana. Hold on, I have to think of what that is. Okay, yeah. Do you, um, flex the feet or, or point? You know what? I, I actually point. Oh, okay. Some people flex. So the foot that's out, mm -hmm. which you can't see, is, <laughs> but it's pointed. And then the foot I'm hanging on to, if I'm feeling stiff, I'll leave it flexed and I'll hang on to that leg with both hands. If I'm feeling flexible, I'll kind of point it. I see. To give myself a little more length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I'm, you know what, I was taught, like, most of what I remember is what I was taught first. And Beryl would often be addressing the whole class and Tom would come over and give like, a, give people like individual uh, advice. And sometimes okay. Tom would be leading the whole class and Beryl would be either quietly assisting or giving individual advice. But that's how come I learned so much from Tom mm -hmm. is because the general practice would be happening and I would be in it, but then he would be like, point that foot. And he said, point that foot because very seldom in primary series do you get to do that position with your ankle. So take advantage of it, point the foot. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else have any questions or anything? I just wanted to... Um, say to Amelia that um, you have a very engaging laugh and I really enjoyed hearing you laugh during class and every time you laughed it put a smile on my face oh, yeah you're so sweet yeah as soon as she got here and she laughed I was like oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah 
Nice. It's great. I also want to say this is unrelated, but Sarah, your yoga mat looks like it just rolls right into the couch. It looks like the couch is part of it, like because they're color coordinated. <laughs> oh yeah, isn't it? It looks yeah. like it looks like you. Just who, need, have, who needs a hide a bed when you can have a hide a yoga mat? Like that. <laughs> that is just so great. It's like here's my mat and here's my assisting prop. It looks a little bit regal. I haven't unmuted myself in so long. It took me that long. I'm mostly proud that I got all my yoga books on this bookshelf over here. I feel very like, adulting in this situation. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. great. Was that bookshelf there this whole time? No, it was in the basement. Okay. And that's I was good. like, they were like piled. Anyway, so. Yay, congratulations. And now I can see them. It's so nice. Oh, yeah. that's great. That's really good. Yeah. Oh. I'm happy that everyone is here. Me too. I'm, I love that I can like drop in and feel embraced by this little yoga community. Yeah. Good. It's good to see you, Britain. I know, same. <laughs> Are you in Vermont right now? No, I'm in Southwest Colorado. Oh, I'm glad I asked. Wow. Are you I'm, living? I'm glad you asked too. Yeah, I moved, I moved here in September for, um, for an internship. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at you go. What's your yeah. internship? It is um, doing family therapy at a wilderness therapy program oh wow yeah that's I great i didn't know families, whole families did that uh, what i didn't realize whole families did wilderness interventions it's I, like it's yeah. it's like the transition either at, in the middle of a stay for someone or at the end of their stay as like a like a transitional support. Yeah, yeah, like kind of a- I think that's really cool because a lot of people who go out into the wilderness, they they know nothing in the beginning and then they learn all these survival skills. And if you just go back to some, you know, suburban house where everything is automatic, no one's gonna know that you know all those survival skills. So it's cool that their family comes to them and they can be like, look, this is how we do this. Yeah, there is a lot of that. There's just must be a lot of growth psychologically while they're, it's like, I'm not exactly the same person who you sent off into the wilderness. So and also, it's always good if you've been in someone else's environment to have them come into your environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. You know? Yeah. 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 And now they have this whole outdoor like life. That's amazing. Britain, that's cool. Mm. Yeah. It's Do all like those it? things. It's like, yeah. Do you so like pretty, it? It's really interesting to see people's like nervousness on the front end and then watch that transform as they interact, like in, as you said, like in this new environment that has been like one person's reality for weeks and months at that point. It's, yeah. Yeah. It almost is, seems like it would be like bringing the family to the front lines for a soldier, you know, to see like <laughs> where my life has been and this is what I've had to do. And this is who I am in these circumstances. And are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's, um, it's, like a steep learning curve <laughs> it's really I mean it's I feel really fortunate to be yeah to be able to do it so that's great good for yeah. you how many how many counselors are there mm, or guides or whatever maybe like there you work as a, a like two people mm -hmm. per family and so 
I would say maybe like maybe 10. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hey, we stayed on long enough for Andy to get into Shavasana. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, nice. All right. Anything else? I don't think so. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, Gina. I love you. Thank you, Nancy. I love you. Thank you, Sarah. I love you. Thank you, Andy. I love you. Thank you, Britton. I love you. Thank you, Bill. I love you. Thank you, Maura. I love you. Thank you, Maria. I love you. Thank you, Amelia, <laughs> birthday girl. I love you. Namaste. Love you, Kathy. Love Bye. you. Bye.